The cards are in here. This could be crazy valuable. Do you don't know what that is? No. Kids these days. Signed by Gary V, dude. That's pretty cool. We have a new video today. We have something that we got in the mail that is incredibly rare and exclusive that we got for free. Thank you to our friend Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary just launched the first ever card that's tied to an NFT. It's like a, by a legit sports card company. These are legitimate cards. So every single one of his NFTs now has a card. We got Lincoln. Lincoln, who's with us today? This is Cruz. He also likes V Friends and Gary and NFTs. Which V Friends do you own? I own the Aspiring Alpaca, the Gift Goat, <laughs> the Practical Peacock, and the Determined Gol Dolphin. Wow. wow. Even the names. Yeah. Just not like, got them down. I got a peacock. Got down. Do you know which ones that we own, Lincoln? <laughs> we have a porcupine. What kind of por porcupine? Green one. What is the attribute that's tied to our porcupine? Prosperous. Prosperous porcupine. That's not bad. Passionate? No. no. I actually don't even know what you're Didn't is. you just say passionate? I said prosperous. Prosperous. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> prosperous porcupine. Gary, if you're watching this, maybe you should have chose a different name. Let's go find it in the other room. We have it on the wall. Maybe that'll help you. So we do have it in here. We put them on our wall. Um, there he is. Grab the porcupine. This is positive porcupine. I was close. Prosperous is not positive. Positivity positive. is a big one. Yep. This is a swan, obviously. Yep. It is a spectacular bubblegum swan. Spectacular, so that means it's what? It's a one of one, and there's only five spectaculars. So this is a really, really good one, a really valuable What's this one. one? Called? It is a swan. What type of attribute do you think would be at the swan? Did you just say it? A sweetheart swan? Nope, it's a sweet so swan. Sweet swan, sweet. I was gonna get swimming. Swimming swan. <laughs> swimming is not an attribute. So here's the plan. We've been making a lot of YouTube shorts. Um, hopefully some of you guys have liked them. I know some people haven't, but a lot of people have. I think it would be best to open this box, like actually see what the cards are on the actual YouTube short. Sorry, I just got back from Dubai and it's, I traveled for like 35 hours yesterday and my mind is kind of messed up. But we have to open this because they, they come available tonight. You got a special note. It's truly exciting to bring V friends into the car collecting world and I'm thrilled to gift you one of these honorary zero cool boxes. Signed Gary V in person. Signed by Gary V, that dude. Sounds, that's, that's pretty cool. Easy. Look at this one. This is something. What is this? Actually, what is that? You don't know what that is? No. Kids these days. Kids these days. It's probably like an eight track. I don't know. Check this out. <laughs> I am a hacker and this is my manifesto and it's signed by Gary V. This is a disc. This is just like before or after floppy disk, we came out with these ones. The trick is most computers don't even have a plug-in for these anymore. This oh, is a portable USB portable that drive. Nice. And so we can plug this into our computer and see what the heck this is. This is cool. Like, I don't know what this isn't part of the actual pack. This is just like the PR package. Oh my gosh. There's all kinds of stuff in here. This is so cool, zero cool hat. Why are there G.I. Joe cards? Remember he shared this on Twitter in the Discord? Actually, about G.I. Joe cards? That's oh rad. Boy. Oh, this is, this okay, this is, okay. is the one we yeah, are not gonna it. open yet. Yep. This is the box, the cards are in here. This could be crazy valuable. First things first, let's take this into the computer and get it plugged in. I'm just going to open the pack of cards to see what we got on the YouTube short. But I definitely wanted to show you guys whatever this thing is. Lincoln, let's do it on your computer. This is it. What did Gary send us? And how, why is it with this? I love it. Yeah. It's so old school and incredibly creative. What if I put this in and it connects to my wallet and steals all steals my Steals everything? Yeah. That would be amazing. No. Because to use old technology to hack somebody's Web3 technology, hey, big brain. Okay. Oh, it's making noise. I don't know if it likes to stick. See, this is the way computers used to work, guys. The file trading cards are cool again by PDF could not be opened. It may be damaged. It may be damaged. I don't think my Mac has the right thing for it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's switch it to a PC. Oh, yeah, the one with Look at that. Oh, there it is. Bang. Okay. What? what? Well, floppy disk drive. Oh, my gosh. Please work. Oh, Gary. what did it say? Something was wrong. Refresh. Something went wrong. The file's broken. They got the sticker. I was thinking to be like all cut up now. No, oh, because it it slides this over. So as long as that can slide over, it reads it. Right there it spins it, and then right there it reads oh, it. Really? 
I'm a hacker and this is my manifesto. So maybe he is hacking us by putting it in and that's why it's breaking. That's why you want to do it on my computer. That's why he sent it for free. Well, he did it on mine already. One more time. Come on. I thought it was just a Mac problem. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, let's go open up G.I. Joe cards in the other room. How about that? I don't really know. G.I. Joe is a, I don't even know they had trading cards, but it's old school. Maybe it's some of the first cards. There you go. 1991, these cards are from 1991. Attack vehicle. <laughs> what the heck? G.I. Joe. <laughs> Heavy metal. Gung Ho. Ooh, I like this one. I like that guy. Gung Ho. Shockwave. Dodger. I like Dodger. Breaker. Dodger and Breaker Night Viper. Look at these names. Low Light. <laughs> Hoo-hoo! Zartan. Wow. Zartan. Zart Zartan. That one looks rare. It does look rare. And that's it. Oh. That's it, wow. Look at that. Good job. G.I. Joe, 1991 cards. Fun note on G.I. Joe, I used to live in the Philippines, I was born in the Philippines, and whenever I, you go there on the street because of my white skin and I'm super tall, I look like an American versus a lot of the Filipinos that are there, little do they know I'm actually born there and speak the language, but they call you Joe, they call Americans Joe, and they just go, hey Joe, hey Joe! And it's because of the soldiers when they were there during the war and G.I. Joe came out, and so they just associate G.I. Joe with like the American soldiers, and so they just call all the dudes that are from America, they call you Joe. All right, this is the moment, guys. I think we okay. need to open the cards. You can see the actual opening of it. We'll do the opening on a YouTube short that'll probably be out before this video, but we'll show you in this video what we got after we pull them all. So thank you again to the Gary Vee team for sending us those. That was really cool to think about us. I'm really excited. I think that these cards are going to be crazy valuable. First card, the Gracious Grizzly Bear Core, Bubbly Buzzard. Okay, we just opened the box and I gotta say, really good. It wasn't, sometimes you open card boxes, like when I opened up my National Treasure one, a lot of times you spend thousands of dollars on it and you don't get anything good. We got an Epic, which is a one of two, and we also got a one of one holographic card. We got five cores, so they're one of 20s, which is, his most common, and then we got two rares. We got an eight of eight and a seven of eight, a taste. So they do have the numbers on there. They do. That's really cool that's that they cool. do. Yeah. So Just not a, the cores. Yeah. So we got a ta uh, tasteful taper and an awesome African civet. And then we also got a very rare, a dope dodo, two of five. And then we got a profound possum, one of two, and the vibin vampire, one of one. That's awesome. I think we did pretty good. So when, when you send these into PSA, there's four things that they look at. One of them is the corners. These are thicker cards, so the corners actually look very good. The other thing they look at are the edges. So it's like, what does the actual edge look like? Is it rough? Is it good? And because they're thicker cards again, I think those two are gonna hold up. So the two areas that the graders at PSA really look at and judge is the face of it, the surface. And so like basically, how clean is the surface? Does it have dings in it? Does it have scratches? Does the paint look okay? And they look fresh and new. I think yeah. the surface is good. So three out of three is really good. This is the one that's the valuable one. This is the Vibin Vampire. And I would say the corners look really good. The edges look good. The surface quality looks great. Like the vampire, all the paint on it. The front, the last, do you know what the last one is? The last thing is that the graders look at? Um, Any ideas, guys? The spacing, not the spacing, the centering. Yes, look at Lincoln, he's yeah. learning stuff. His cards, they cut the cards, they cut them with big machines, and sometimes the centering gets off, and so you might have like more on one side than the other, but if you look at the back of the Vibin Vampire, it's pretty easy to see. Look at one side, it's like all, there's more space on the right side than the left side. Like just, you watch the black box that's around it. So the centering is off, so I think that's gonna be, get dinged down. So I think this one of one, the most valuable one, it's not a PSA 10 because of the centering, but it could be a nine or an eight. So that's good. I'm curious about the centering on all the other ones. Yeah, it might just be a thing with the cards. Oh no, that one looks good. So this one, this is a profound bot possum. Let's put them side by side and you can see the difference here. But look at that, you can tell that like the left side on the Vibe and Vampire, is, there's not as much room as there is on that one. Again, it's little. There you go, I'll zoom in. 
you can see it on there. So those are the things that PSA looks at, and so when people are deciding whether to grade cards, sometimes what they'll do is they will sell the card raw and sell as is on eBay because they know already it's not gonna get as good of a grade. And then if they know it's gonna get a good grade, then they send it in and they get the good grade and they make a lot more money off of it. And I love that one person owns each one of these. Like somebody right now owns the seven of eight serial number of that specific one. Yeah. And so we can go online and look right now and find the people that own these and see who it is and sell it to them for lots and lots of money. Yeah. And Gary said last night in the Discord that he wants to buy all of the one of ones off people. So maybe I can sell the Vibe and Vampire back to Gary. <laughs> Gives it to me so for free fun. and then I sell it to him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're all about that flip life I thought, right Gary? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that, no, not cool. Once somebody finds this one, the Sweet Swan one of one, or like, the hey, one of two. Hey, you wanna trade? Yeah, yeah, we'll trade. I'll trade those for that. That's what I need to do trade it for something that I want because I would love to have the cards of my own. There you go, there's a random sports card video. Just hanging out and oh, I keep calling them sports cards, trading cards. I had to make this transition from calling them baseball cards to sports cards. I would always just say baseball cards and now I've got to ch change it again to trading cards instead of sports cards. Life is hard. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a problem here. I was just pulling it up on the computer to see who owns this holographic Vibin Vampire. Because I'm like, hey, I could probably sell this for like, I don't know, $5,000 maybe? $6,000, that could be good, maybe 10? It's a one of one. Well, it turns out this thing is a goo, which means Gary original owned. I think he calls it go, I like call it goo. I am not gonna be selling this to Gary Vaynerchuk. He gave me this box for free. Like, I'm gonna go in and be like, hey Gary, I got this card. You want to sell it to me for one Ethereum or two Ethereum or $10,000? Like, no, I can't do that. Here's what I'm going to do, Gary. I am going to send this card in and this card into PSA, get them graded. At VCon, if you want this, I will trade it to you for something. Maybe you could trade me like another box of cards for this. Gosh, that's asking too much. I just am going to give this to you, Gary. We'll figure out a way I'll give this to you, but um, it's like, Super cool that Gary has this one, but it's also kind of unfortunate. Like, I could have sold this and made some money, but oh well, it is what it is. Gary made these, he owns this. Um, I'll get it to him. But anyway, I just thought that was a funny thing I had to show you guys. <laughs>